Hi, this is Kevin for Pixivert.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at creating this cool looking animated bar graph. So the idea is that we take a boring bar graph, we add a relevant shape to it, and then we animate that shape. In this video, I'm going to be looking at using the repeater function in After Effects, which is a function that you can use with shapes where you want to keep the number of layers down to a minimum but you want to have tons and tons of shapes inside of the image. And I'm going to be looking specifically at how to animate the repeater. We are going to use just an ordinary shape from, from Photoshop. Just choose any shape which is relevant to whatever kind of bar graph that you're working with. We are going to start off by creating a composition. So new composition, we're going to call this vid because we are making a video after all. And it's going to be 1920 by 1080, 24 frames a second, 10 seconds. In the advanced, we're going to use classic 3D and we'll get started. We're going to create a new solid and we're just going to create a blue background. And next, we're going to create a shape layer. So a new shape layer. The shape is going to be one that I've imported from Photoshop. So we're going to open up the shape layer, click on add and choose path open up the path and paste the shape. This is the standard custom plane shape that you get inside of Photoshop. We are going to add a fill and we're going to change the color of the fill to a light blue just to keep up that blue theme. We're going to change the name of this layer to source. We're going to use this layer as the parent control. We're going to use this layer to control all the shapes inside of the animation. You'll see how I do that a bit later. Let's take the shape and move it down into the corner. Next, I'm going to create a duplicate copy of this layer. We're going to call this new layer, I'm going to call it 2001 because my bar graph is going to be kind of like measuring performance across the years. So we'll start with the year 2001 and we'll open up the layer and we are actually going to add the repeater now. So we'll choose add repeater and it repeats the plane three times by default. If this was going to be a horizontal bar chart, this will be fine. I want to demonstrate how you create a vertical bar chart. Let's go down to the repeater and you can see the three copies there. We are actually going to animate that. Let's go down to the transform repeater. This is where the main animation is going to take place. The position has got a value of 100 and that 100 is giving us this X offset. So it's kind of like moving the repeaters along the X axis. We don't want that, so we'll take that down to zero. And we want it to go up, so it's going to be on the Y axis and it's going to be negative. So I'm going to take it down minus 120. And that gives us a vertical displacement. Let's take the size of the planes down, because I want to be able to fit in a few planes inside of this composition. So we're going to go down to the source. And if I switch off the 2001 layer, you see that the source is still active. So I'm going to select the path and hit Control T. And that allows me a free transform just to make this a little bit smaller. So we're using the source to control everything about this particular plane shape. And you'll find that the plane shape here remains the same. So let's undo that change and go ahead and open this path up alt click on the path and then pick whip the underlying layer so let me just open up this section and you can see i've got this pick whip i'm going to pick whip the path for the source and i'm going to hit enter so from now on this path is going to copy this path automatically let's go ahead and switch off this layer and go back to our composition and we can now see the source i'm going to open up the source go down to path do a free transform make it smaller and when we turn this on this is also changed so we can now switch this guy off and work with the uh, 2001 layer let's go ahead and change the y displacement i'm going to take that to about minus 85 and I think that looks a little bit more elegant 
I'm going to increase the copies for this layer to, let's say, 8. So you can see we can fit quite a few planes now. And we can animate the copies. So I'm going to take the time up to 3 seconds. We'll click on the copies stopwatch, go down to the start and go down to zero. And you can see this animates quite elegantly. Let's add a little bit of um, interest to the animation by going down to the transform repeater and animating a couple of other properties. So I'm first of all going to animate the scale. We'll click on the stopwatch there and the rotation. Let's go down to the beginning and let's increase the rotation to around 180. The scale is going to be reduced down to around zero and let's see what that looks like now. So I'm sure you'll agree that's a far more interesting animation. I'm going to go to the end, select all the keyframes there and press F9. That will just create a slightly smoother animation and it just looks a little bit more elegant. Okay, let's go on ahead and duplicate this layer and create more bar graphs. So control D to duplicate it. Let's open up the new layer uh, and let's change the number of copies at the end to let's say five. We'll go down to the transform for the entire layer. This starts off at 10 at 960. Let's change that to 1060 and that positions this correctly. And that should allow us a nice animation now with two columns animated. Excellent. And you can just go on ahead and duplicate these columns until you've got all the columns that you need. I've gone ahead and created a few more columns and what I need to do now is to sort these out so they're in the correct order. So 2001 through to 2009. I start off by clicking on 2001 and clicking on 2009. So they are in the reverse order. I'm going to hit Control X, go back to the top, Control V, and that will sort them out in the, into the correct order. The next thing I want to do is to add a little bit of a stagger to the animation. I think the animation looks cool, but if we can add a little bit of a stagger to the start times for each of these layers, I think it's going to look even more cool. So we're going to go with all the layers selected. We're going to go to animation, keyframe assist, sequence layers. And what I found was that I needed to click on overlap, choose a duration of nine, nine seconds and 20 frames, and then make sure the transition is off. And that just staggers the layers a tiny amount and produces a much smoother, more elegant looking animation. What I want to show you finally is to is the technique for using the source for controlling all the other shape layers. So I'm just going to copy a new shape from Photoshop and we'll go down to the source layer, which as you remember is switched off. We'll go down to the path, paste, and this gives us a new uh, shape. We can then drag that shape, the path selected, and go ahead and drag that shape into the bottom corner where we want it. And this gives us a new animation with a new shape. That looks pretty awesome. And that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments. If you like the vi video, leave a comment, rate the video, subscribe for new videos. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.